Hopefully, Mark, you've got a non-fattening, healthy recipe to share this morning. Uh, a bit iffy. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. No, we've got it's some a vegetable brown bread. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so we're going to make a Reuben oh, sandwich I today. I love a good Reuben. So this is a Reuben-ish sandwich, so it's a little bit faster. So we sped it up. I've taken a leaf out of Mike's book. We bought the pastrami <laughs> from the packet. <laughs> don't, don't you can that. make this, but it's going to take you five days to brine it. Right. Uh, and then you've got to smoke it and slow cook it. No, and, no, you know, no, it's, no. Well, it's well worth that time if you've got the time. If, if you've not, got the you time. Do we don't today. No, but I'm going to tell you how to make the sauerkraut in there. So that's the pickled cabbage, and that's great. Mm, that's, yeah. And you can make a big jar of this. You can keep it in the fridge, and you can keep making these. Oh, it's on trend at the moment, yeah, too, sauerkraut. So looking forward to that. And, of course, we will show you how you can make all of this very soon. Here we are in the Beko kitchen, and Mark, we're, we're doing a famous sandwich, the good old Reuben, but we're doing a quick version. We are doing the quick version, so we've got the pastrami already made. Yeah. But we, I'm sure we can make that one day, but it's, it's a long process, so you, you're brining, you're pickling, and then you slow cooking, and then smoking it as well if you want. Cool. Okay. But, but yeah, so we <laughs> yeah, won't do that Just today. buy it. But, we, but yeah, yeah, I've lowered myself to your level. <laughs> That's right. I'm all about speed and efficiency, Mark. Uh, yeah, well, no, and it's, sometimes it's good. And right. We're going to do our own version of sauerkraut. Yeah, so, okay, so cool. we're going to make the sauerkraut, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So good. obviously, this is one of those things as well where you do need a little bit of time, but this is sort of a fast version of uh, the sauerkraut. So I've got white cabbage here. Yes. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slice it. So just go across, keep slicing it, and then... We'll get it in there, and I'll, yeah. I'll keep slicing. You need me to wash my hands? Yeah, so you yeah. wash your hands. And then what we want to do first is we're going to start massaging it and breaking it up and rubbing salt into the uh, cabbage. I never thought I'd be massaging cabbage <laughs> on national television. <laughs> this is pretty exciting. <laughs> The first for everything, <laughs> well, like. Sauerkraut. You pay a lot of money for sauerkraut. I'd much rather make my own. What right. was that? Sugar. <laughs> Salt. Salt. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> right, so I'll get some, get some more in. And this is great. You know, you can make this in a big, big, you know, a big batch. You know, get the cabbages, like, at, at, you know, times of year where they're really cheap. You know, you do this and you do it properly and you, you're almost sort of preserving and pickling oh, yeah. and, well, fermenting. Cool. You know, so you can have this in jars and, and eat it all year round. Okay, nice. I really love cabbage, so I'm quite right. up for this. So a little bit, a little bit more. So be quite generous on the salt as well. It's going to help season it as well. It's going to help um, with the preserving uh, process. Some more then. What? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. <laughs> right, there you go. But like really get in. You oh, know, okay, cool. Really... Do you want some juices from the cabbage? Yeah, yeah, we want to break that cabbage down a little bit. Yeah, let those uh, juices come in and really, you know, macerate it. Right. You know, pretend it's uh, a human. My other half is wondering <laughs> what I'm doing right now. <laughs> As you can tell, massaging isn't my forte. But you can see it's already sort of breaking down. You've still got that crunch, but it's the, the, the leaves are actually wilting. Right, really good flavour in uh, sauerkraut. Juniper berries. This is uh, what they make gin out of. So this is oh, really okay, good. good. <laughs> Throw some of that in. Yeah, we're not making gin. Oh. So what you can do, just, just crush them up, and that'll just release all their flavour, you know. Get that in there as well. You know, it can be quite generous of them. Gives it a really good flavour. And how, you know, like how, how long does it take to ferment till it's ready? Well, what, what we want to do is we want to sort of do this stage first, and yeah. then I'll just leave this out at room temperature, not somewhere really hot, but just you know, just in the in the living room somewhere, just cover it and leave it out for you know about twelve hours. Or oh, okay, so. cool. You know, do it in the morning, put it in the fridge overnight. So we're not talking days; we're talking no, hours. No, so, so okay, you give it great. a bit of time. And then, um, and then I've got some white wine and some white wine vinegar as well. So I'm going to pop that in there. So we'll just okay, remember, cool. just imagine we've uh, had this out. Yep, we've had it out. Yep. And, 12 uh, hours. 12 yeah. hours. TV magic is Jeez, great. isn't it? Uh, some white wine, white wine vinegar, and then just uh, mix all that in again. Okay, cool. And really get that through it. And then, you know, what I do now is put it in the fridge, and then you can just leave it in the fridge. You know, three, four, five days, you know, it will just get all that flavour in there. You know, every day sort of just turn it. Um, proper traditional uh, sauerkraut, they leave it out at room temperature and just for like weeks and weeks and then it, but it gets a bit pongy. Yeah, well, it's got an interesting smell to it, but I can so smell those juniper berries coming yeah, yeah, through, yeah, everything mixing fresher, together, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, fresher sort of pickled version. Nice, so okay, really cool. Good. So sauerkraut, who knew it was that easy? Okay, yeah, no, cool. And it's great. And then, you know, we're going to make it taste even better in a minute, well, in a second segment, because we're going <laughs> to fry it in butter. Oh, brilliant. Okay, we'll get the next steps to this Reuben sandwich right after we see what Holly has in store. <laughs> we need to finish this sandwich, so we, uh, we've got our sauerkraut, sauerkraut done. And now it's just time to build the sandwich. So how do you do this the proper way, Mark? Right, so we're going to build the sandwich. So I'm going to butter one side. Yes. Pop it in and nice. we're going to toast it. So you keep an eye on that. Okay. You're in charge of that. Cool. I'll do right. that. 
Another bit of, bit of butter okay. into, into a pot and now we're going to uh, fry the sauerkraut. So it's something a little bit different. Yeah. You don't need to. If it's fully pickled, you can just do it cold. It's yes. really nice. But uh, we like to, well, I like to do this in the restaurant, so it's, uh, it's a bit more of a crunchy, mm. fresher pickled cabbage like, like this. Nice. And then get some butter, melt it in the pot. When it's bubbling, add a bit of the sauerkraut in and we just warm it up and fry it for about a minute or two. You know, it doesn't take long. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's really good. Just got a nice crunch with it. How's the bread? Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. Okay, cool. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Just keeping an eye. No, I was, I was, I, last night I was doing a bit of Googling on the old Reuben sandwich to find out where it comes from. So there's a bit of debate. There was a guy uh, in Nebraska and his first name was Reuben and he was kind of credited with starting the sandwich. But then there was a New York delicatessen and that was owned by a man called Arnold Reuben. And apparently one of the chefs made his son a sandwich and that is where the Reuben originated from apparently. So. Oh. A little bit of useless information. It's going to taste better when you know the history, isn't it? <laughs> or is it? <laughs> no, I actually had one of these. I went to New York a few years ago, and uh, if you ever go, go to Katz's Deli, and yeah. uh, we had the Reuben sandwich there. Nice. And they make their own pastrami, uh, pastrami, and it's warm, and they just slice it in front of you, and there's about that much meat between oh. two slices of bread, and it's just so, it's so good. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's the home of it. Well, we think. Well, yeah. Right, so we're just frying yeah, it off. Reuben at your home. That, That's you it. Have to go overseas. So we toasted it on one side, and I'm going to build the sandwich with the toasted side in. Okay. Okay. Why? Is, why are you doing that? Well, I'm going to show you in just okay, a little sweet. bit. Right. So I've got a little bit of mayonnaise. Yum. So that goes on there. Oh, mayonnaise. Oh, look at that. Ceramic, right. Give that a quick stir around. I've just seasoned it lightly. That's all right. So no more cooking than that. Otherwise, you'll soften it up. So you can uh, pop a layer of. Um, Sauerkraut in there. Okay, cool. Do you mind if the juniper berries are in there? Um, I mean, ideal, ideally not, but um, okay, it's all right. Cool. You're going to have it, so you'll be fine. <laughs> no, a little, a little bit's all right. If they're big berries, it's a little bit, um, you know, it's just like drinking gin. Is that enough, or do you need more? A little bit more. You want to be generous? More? Okay, cool. It's really. Yeah, yeah. So really good. So I've got a little bit of chili on that. So when you're building a sandwich, just make sure you come all, all the way to the edge and you've got a nice flat layer, so then we can keep adding it on top. Right, you can pop the uh, pop all the meat on there nicely. Okay. And we'll be really generous on the meat. Okay. And then we've got some pickles. I'm going to do some nice slices of pickles. Oh, this is looking and smelling incredible. Do you reckon that's enough? Do you want a bit more? No, a bit more. A bit more. All of it. All of it, Mike. What, on the one sandwich? Yeah, did you not listen to my story? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, I did. Swiss cheese. And the rest. He wants oh, more. oh God, he wants it all, okay. Are you going to make a sandwich do it properly? <laughs> this, is a, this is a sandwich to feed an yeah. army. <laughs> and, and then some uh, so Swiss cheese on there. You've got your other... Um, oh, God, there's no... Uh, no no knife. Right, a little bit more mayonnaise on the top one. That goes on top. So the uh, toasted, the untoasted part of the sandwich is on the outside now. That goes back in. We're going to toast that. That's going to heat the inside up. Mm -hmm. It's going to melt that cheese slightly, and there you have it, a Rubenish sandwich. Which and now are we going to flip it eventually? Good. Yeah, we're going to flip, flip it. So we'll toast too. it on both sides. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Mm, yum! That looks so delicious, and it smells incredible as well. And of course, you can get all the ingredients and the full recipe on our website. Do let us know how yours turns out. We'd love to get a photo too. Ah, uh, this Reuben looks fantastic. Look at that, it's come out Thank well, hasn't it? very much. I don't know what the rest of you are eating, but that is mine. What are you, do <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> well, I'm doing a classic Kiwi or Aussie classic, Lamington.